Hey guys, Ranger here, and welcome back to another video. Uh, this is another reaction and review, and this is something very different. Um, this was kind of over in my recommended recommended list. Uh, this is Metal Family, and this is Metal Family animated music video. Now the song is Avantasia's "The The Story Ain't Over," which is one of my favorite songs by them. And if you don't, and if you haven't heard, if you haven't heard Avantasia. I'm glad you check them out. They're great, like awesome, and um, so uh, now it's on the it's on Metal Family's channel, but it says that the, it was created by uh, Alana Alana Kovaleva. So I truly apologize if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. Uh, the links to it will be and everything will be below, but. Um, I've seen this music video in my recommended, and I wanted to check it out. I love this song, uh, and uh, Avantasia is definitely one of my favorite groups. So let's begin. Start the video on three. Make sure I start recording. Okay. Start the video on full screen. Start the video on three, two, one. Click. From dreams, craving for someone, wet himself to sleep. He's waiting, no sign from I love the animation already. It's very smooth and where is the very detailed too. The hourglass in pieces dash to the wall. The future is over, tomorrow's been slipping away. And nothing. Like I said, this is one of my favorite tracks by them. I love this track. There is the candle in this lonesome night. Angel, <laughs> why are you so wayward? <laughs> me. Try my belief. Well, life is not words, and tongue is not answers, and we only can see a reason. Oh boy! Ha ha ha! Oh yeah! I admire the dude's persistence and very calm demeanor.
<laughs> oh, they finally got married! Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I love this! I absolutely love this! This is so sweet! This is so sweet! I love this. Okay. I honestly didn't know what to expect whenever I went into this animation. Um, I really had no idea what to expect from it whatsoever. Um, I, I mean, the the actual track itself um, is a little different. Like it leads you into a bit of a different idea, and so I wasn't really certain what was going to happen in the animation. And I was really hoping that the animation would really have a happy would would be a happy animation you know that it would have a happy story and um i was hoping really hoping that it wouldn't be sad and depressing and i'm very very happy that the an that the artist that the an animator did make this a happy uh a very happy animation that did have a happy ending it was comical of course but it handled so well and it was just absolutely beautiful and I'm very, very happy for that because I'm a happy ending guy. Uh, um, I absolutely, I love happy endings and I'm not fond of bitter, sad endings. I'm not. Um, and also I, like, like I said, I love, I love, I love Avantasia. Uh, I love their music. Uh, I, this is my kind of metal. Uh, I love metal personally. Uh, I love metal. And so, whenever I first heard Avantasia, uh, which honestly has just been maybe a, maybe back in January, whenever I first actually heard them, um, I believe it was, whenever I first heard them, I was blown away by their music. And the music, the vocals, I was just blown away by it. And immediately, in one, it became one of my favorite groups. And uh, this one... The store, uh, this one here, the story ain't over, and Lost in Space are two of my favorite ones by them right now. Um, but I absolutely love their music, and so it's very cool to see this video be animated based off of that. And there's a lot of things that I want to talk about with with this. Now, this animation was released back in twenty back last year in 2018, and um, Again, I'm an animation buff, and so it's nobody. Rec I want to say nobody recommended this to me. Nobody recommended this to me at all. Uh, this was recommended to me over in my recommendations list, and um, so no, nobody told me about this. But if you guys know of any other animation similar based off of music videos like this, preferably metal or rock or symphonic, uh, you know, something like that. As long as it's not rap or country, I'm cool. Um, but if it's something like this, metal, you know, just let me know. But again, I've, I also want to cover this, the story itself. Now, first off, I want to talk about the animation. The animation itself is very simplistic in its style. Uh, it's not overly heavily detailed. I have seen animations before, um, both by real companies and by uh, both by independent animators that have had a lot of detail, a lot of things going on in them. And uh, the, the, this one ha has a very natural, very simplistic look to it, and also bouncy look. Um, the way that the characters move and handle, it's very bouncy, and it has, it does have some, it does have some energy to it. It's quite smooth, and it has a very simplistic way of moving. And the character designs are also also very detailed, and some of them are more detailed than others. The guy is interesting in his design because he's got like the very wide chin, and he's got a, he he a, he himself has a sort of a cartoonish sort of a, a, a he has a kind of a cartoonish look to him. While the girls here they have more detail to them, and I'm not they have she has like more detail to her. 
than the guy does. And the guy has a very simplistic look, which adds to the sort of the comedic style of him, like with this very kind of the very large, uh, the very large chin and sort of the pointy nose, while the women have more of a, have a much more natural, uh, very feminine design to them. And so, again, it's an interesting contrast between the two different styles of animation, but they do work great. Uh, like, if they don't, they don't contradict each other. They look great. And sometimes the animation is themselves also change with like the girl's expression here to one of uh, just like, what the F? And then like her coworker just has this really expression on her face. And again, it's very comical. The animation is very interesting because it can go from very simplistic and natural, from a very simplistic and natural feeling to very excitable and exuberant and comical at just in at the drop of a hat. And I love it with the animation style. It really works for that. Um, it really looks great. Like this, this uh, the, the introduction to this female character here, you're not really sure what to expect with her, but then when she eats a hot dog and she just completely chomps down on it. And it's very interesting how that the characters handle. And then the guy's expression is just like, whoa, dude. And again, the animation is very interesting because it's a very... A very interesting flow of both uh, soft movements, but yet they they are fast-paced movements with the characters, but they're not too fast-paced that you can't like it jumps about. They they for this style of animation, they fit. And there's different styles of animation. There's different ways that you can do animation, and the animation itself alone can help to build build the world, and the animation. It helps to build the characters, it helps to build their persona, and um, the animation can help to tell the story itself. If you have really detailed, beautiful animation, of course, it can really help to pull you into, into that, into that, into that universe. Now this right here, it's beautiful in the way that it's done. It's very simplistic with the animation style. The character expressions are really well done, and some of it is natural, some of it is more comical, and just actually very very bl blend very very well and the backgrounds themselves also have a lot of detail with what's going on and I also really love the shading that uh, the shading and the soft lighting effects that you see throughout this animation and like I said there's a lot to this world it's not just quick scenes there's a lot of world added to this and you have very simplistic styles like this, like the guy sitting on the bench here, which transition to show a very detailed artistic sketch that he is showing that he is showing this boy. So again, there's a very interesting uh, style here, like different kinds, like two different kind of worlds that are that are blending together. And again, the detail with the biker club here with the biker gang, you have a very interesting style where you have the foreground, which is more in focus, which is natural. Like if you were looking at it through a camera lens, you got the foreground, which is more which is more in focus. And then you have the background, which is kind of a bit blurred as it gets farther off. Again, it's very realistic and, and natural to that. The human eye wouldn't the human eye, in a way, would be able to do that, but it's more more clear through that visual of a of a lens. And sometimes the animation changes from ha having a more of a natural look to it to having a more bendy animation style, where the guy just p hurls this other guy around like he's a like like he's a yo-yo. And again, it's very interesting with this because there's an interesting dynamic with this in that the girl has she has more uh, what I'm going to call stationary animation in that her animation style is cartoonish but it's mostly used in her facial expressions rather than her body language and the guy however he has more cartoonish animation uh, in terms of what the antics the shenanigans that happened to him and it's not just his facial expressions, but it's also his body language, too. And so there's a very interesting uh, thing here where his animation, he's more loose. He's more fluid with what, with again, with the shenanigans that happened to him. But um, the girl is more stationary, uh, although there is an interesting thing. And uh, again, the girl, uh, 
her animation is also different as well. Uh, like I said, there's there's a bit of a different thing here. You, there is there is a feminine look to her as well, but there's also the kind of animation style that you know she's very much a tomboy. And she's not afraid to get her hands dirty, and she's not afraid whatsoever to deck this guy in his face. And you can tell also from her strength, from her from her physical build, that she's been you know she's been working out. She's tough. And then you, it's kind of funny because you have this they have this muscular looking chick, and then you have this very very sort of uh, very scrawny looking guy which is comical and again it's very funny with it's 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 very very funny with that because again it would seem sort of too natural i mean it would seem too perfect if the guy himself was buff and everything here you have this very skinny very scrawny looking guy and it kind of makes me think about and i'm i'm going to use this as a comparison it might, makes me think about scooby doo it makes me think about uh shaggy and velma uh, it makes me think about Shaggy and Velma because, you know, Shaggy's the very scrawny looking guy and Velma has, like, she has a bit more of a, a slightly fuller physique build than Daphne does. Uh, obviously, you know, Daphne's a little bit taller, uh, Velma is a, a little bit shorter. But, again, the animation for this is very, there's an interesting thing for it because there are moments whenever the animation doesn't show uh, a lot of details to it. Like this scene here where the girl is decking the guy and he's falling to the ground and she gets on her bike. And this right here is very interesting because it shows just enough animation to get the point across. You can't see a whole lot of detail for the clothing, for the actual detailing for the character. Um... And like before we saw that this character had a tattoo on her on on her right arm here you can't really see it but uh, again you can you can make out the white of her eye here and uh, this right here is very interesting with how that it's done because it's easier to it's it is more difficult to animate the smaller details for things like this for in in, in a smaller frame it is very much harder to an to animate this. Um, but as a, as opposed to a more close up shot where you have more attention to detail but they use just enough detail here to get the point across as to what you're seeing and it's not highlighted fast enough to that you really notice anything about it um like i said it shows just enough animation th during that quick time to that it gets the point across but it's not you know it it doesn't linger on those scenes for too long that you notice the lack of it and there's a really good flow with that and like I said, there's a lot of the world that is being highlighted here with what is going on from the guy going zip lining to try to catch up to the girl. Uh, and we uh, and like I said, again, there's comical moments with the guys, with his stature, with the way the guy looks, with the details. What's the scene earlier with the girl having to hotwire the bike to be able to actually get it going? And uh, it would have been simple to have made these lines look completely straight on these cables but instead they actually the animator actually made them choppy to look like to look like uh, this girl had to actually cut them to be able to get to to those wires and not just that but you can see the detailing on the gloves as well they're sort of rigid uh, and cut lines around 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 the edges of the fingers of, of the gloves to indicate that these have been worn a little while and that they're, they're beginning to see a little bit of wear and tear on them. And another thing that you also and again the, the attention to detail with the bike is also really well done with the hand with with the hand with the brake cables and um, it's easy, like I've seen people before. Uh, put bikes in animations. I mean, I've seen bikes in animations before, even professional, that they didn't have this much detail. They honestly didn't. You couldn't see the brake cables. But here, you actually see the brake cables going down to the bike itself, which is a very nice detail, and it, it really, really shows with that. And again, there's a lot of detail that goes into the character models and the character designs, and uh, again, it's very interesting. And the the facial expressions as well, they're not bland. They really help to tell the story and help to elaborate what the character is feeling. Here, a feeling of exasperation and anger. And so, again, there's a lot of attention to detail that goes into some of this. And sometimes the animation changes to a sort of, to the cartoonish, exact, uh, to the 
to the cartoonish um, exaggerative style where like the guy is imitating this chick and his mouth is open much farther than what a normal human could do but again it blends with the animation and this animation itself it's a very nice blend of a cartoonish flair with a natural sense and it really does look great in how that it looks and you got the biker guys which you know the really big uh, over overweight biker guys as well but there's an interesting dynamic with how that that also handles and also again I've, I have to point out the detail with the characters tattoo and the you know the overall look of the clothing how that you like the, there's a lot of detail that goes into this and there's a lot of other little details that you also notice as well again there's more there's a lot to the world which is designed with this bridge with the character going diving and there's other things to point out as well but um, there's little gags and gimmicks gimmicks throughout this right here as well that I have to point out but again I love this animation the animation itself is beautiful and again at the ending we see and so again the animation itself is just beautiful and there's very inter like I said there's an interesting uh, a an interesting style between between the woman and and the man here where the man has a more cartoonish appearance to him while the woman she still has a cartoonish appearance but she also maintains a more sort of a bit more of a realistic natural sense to her and again it looks great and I love that blend of animation style and again I love the color and the visual aspects of this it's just beautifully crafted it's beautifully done and there's and there's other things that I want to point out about this and now I'm going to talk about the story aspect of this and little details that appear through appear uh, that appear throughout this you got this basic sort of a very 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 natural very calm very laid-back guy uh, he's in he's in he he he's kind of the metal guy he's got um, he's got a very awesome and I gotta say uh, I love his boots. Like I love this, this, I love this dude's boots. These are freaking beasts. I, I actually wish that I owned a pair of those in real life. And I love this belt as well. I also wish I owned this belt in real life. I would love to own that belt. And um, the guy, he has like a, he has a very laid back, very easy going kind of happy. He and he, and also as we see from the animation, he has a very happy go lucky uh, sense to him. He walks into this little cafe. Uh, and orders and orders a cup of coffee with cream and the girl we see uh, she has an interest in this guy she's she has an interest like she's prob obviously telling her friend she's going to flirt with him and she's going to see how 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 that that works so she spends the time trying to uh, <clears throat> create a heart in the guy's coffee and so she even ends up also trying to use her sex appeal by leaning over so that her breasts are hanging over. And she tries to use her sex appeal on the guy as well and tries to flirt with him. But the guy's like completely oblivious to it. And um, he's just like completely oblivious, gives her, gives her the money for the coffee, and she storms <laughs> I'm completely ticked off. And her friend is just sitting here, not knowing what to do, not knowing what to say. And he's just watching uh, casually as bikers, as motorcycles drive by. And then suddenly he sees this one chick uh, that catches his eye. The moment he sees this girl, he's taken by her and thinks, oh my gosh, I have to get to know her. And... Um, she ends up accidentally dropping her key into a drainage ditch, which gets her upset. And we see some other little details here in in the shadow of her having to obviously rip something off of her bike to be able to get to uh, to be able to get to be able to actually hotwire it. So the guy just so the guy runs out, and after she takes off, this there's an in, in, interesting thing here where the guy begins to sing. The, where the guy begins to sing the lyrics to the song, the story ain't over, and it's this is a, this is a very interesting thing because it's not just a music video that plays out. <clears throat> it's not just an animation that plays out while the music video is going and helping to tell the story. Now, no, this is crafted so that it this is like their story. This is their story, and it's very beautifully and 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 intricately done in 
and the moment that, and I realized that this moment, whenever the guy began to sing the lyrics to this song. And again, we see this very lovely looking sunset, or what looks like a sunset off in the distance. The moment that he ends up realizing that this girl seems to be with another biker dude, he, he, he at first I honestly thought he was going to be completely heartbroken, but instead he just has this kind of a disgruntled look that says, well, I'm going to try anyway. And so I have to admire the guy's perseverance and his persistence. And he tries to give her the key. But this other dude, of course, ends up breaking his hand. And here's another moment where we see the animation change from a more kind of a realistic style to a more cartoonish style, where the guy's hands are like completely, all, his fingers are all over the place, probably broken. And the, and the guy like gets flung across the grounds and tossed into a trash bin and a pole, which lands on his head. And this is a very comical scene here. And then this guy decides to take on a very macho-like look to him. And this is where his arrogance becomes the death of him. Almost quite literally. This guy has this appearance. And there's another interesting detail about this animation, of course, is it uses the character's body language, their expressions, and what is going on in it. There's no words. Like, there is no words. The there's no dialogue that you hear the character say. It's all used in the animation. The animation is being used to tell the story without any without any without any actual dialogue whatsoever, which is a very beautiful very very beautifully done thing. And this is very very well done in that it does tell a beautiful story, a very beautiful, very sweet and comical story without actually using any dialogue whatsoever. It's very very well done. And here this macho dude thinks, this is my girl, you know, and he has this attitude that he can do whatever he wants to with her. And this is, this kind of guy in real life irritates the crap out of me that thinks that, you know, okay, this is my chick, I can do whatever I want to, to her, with her, and it's fine. And I really hate these arrogant guys in real life. But this chick shows, and I'm really happy that this happened as well, and so, again, major props to the animator for this. This chick shows, I'm not taking your bull crap. She ends up, and this guy pushes her hand away. And he ends up smacking her. And at this moment, I thought, oh no, oh no, this bastard is dead. He better be dead. And this chick goes full on, I'm going to shove a broomstick up your anus mode. And it's at this moment this guy realizes, I might have screwed up. <laughs> so she uppercuts him. And she has a much smaller physique than this guy. But obviously this guy, he's much overweight. He's much larger. He's overweight. He doesn't have the muscle in the right areas. Obviously he lacks it very significantly up here. But she's able to deck him send him fly, like flying backward. And then not just that, but she ends up, she gives him a complete kick to his stomach. She gives him a complete like roundhouse kick to his stomach. And then she completely decks him in his face, sending him to the ground. And yeah, I would say that's them breaking up. And he, he he's out. And the funny thing about it is that this girl, like, this is pretty much in the vision of this guy. There's a clouded vision while this guy is just looking at this chick, smiling, thinking, what a woman. And then she just looks at him at first, and then completely flips him off. <laughs> she completely flips him off, and uh, then, then drives away. And this guy, he has, like, renewed... He has renewed vigor here. He knows, obviously, she. he saw the breakup, or the breakdown, or the beat up, however you want to say it. And I have to admire this guy's perseverance. And his ingenuity as well. Because he manages to use a screwdriver to stop a street lamp. And there's some other details here to point out. I also admire the detail 
here, whenever this chick pulls up to this to the stoplight, she doesn't just sit there casually. Like you can actually see her adjusting her gloves again. It's another little detail with the animation. The animator did not have to do that. It would have been so much simpler to just have the character sit on sit sit on the bike normally with her hands on the handlebars. But no, the animator actually went as far as to have the character here actually begin to like tighten her gloves. Again, I really like that. I really like the attention to detail. And honestly, I kind of would, I would kind of love it if street lamps did, if if stoplights did kind of do this sometimes, actually gave you a number that you, you would know whenever they were ready to go. But an interesting dynamic, or an interesting thing here is this chick, like she's not interested in this guy first. This guy's perseverance, he's wanting to give her her key back. And she just completely is, const whoops, she's kind of constantly blowing this guy off. She thinks, oi, this again? And, again, I have to admire his ingenuity. And so she just drives away anyway. And he just casually pulls out a map. It's not bothering him whatsoever. He just pulls out a map and thinks, all right, where can I see her next? So this guy decides he's going to go zip lining to try to catch up to her. Or, But, again, we see some nice detailing for the character with the character's hair actually moving in the wind like the character's hair is not just stationary it's actually moving back and it's actually moving and we see some other details with the character's jacket again really highlighting really highlighting everything and again it, I, well like I mentioned before it goes back to the animation before the guy makes whenever the guy makes himself slightly kinda of present on the road you see the foreground of the road is highlighted and it's more in focus. You see some of the background get kind of blurrier as it transitions. And as it focuses more on the guy, the animation behind him becomes more, even more blurry, indicating that, again, it's more of a focus, like you were looking through a lens. Again, very, very well done. And I think at this point, she thinks that this guy's trying to propose to her, which it does look like. I mean, he's down on one knee, he's holding out something. So I think she legit thinks that he was trying to propose to her. And she wasn't having any of that. Um, but then he crashes, like literally she crashes right into them and they end up both in the exact same hospital room in the same hospital, I mean in, this, in the same hospital, which is funny. He's in a pretty much a full body cast, almost, like arms are broken, legs are broken, and she's just, her legs are broken, but and she like she like she looks at him. She hates this guy's guts right now. Like she hates his guts. She's blaming him. He probably tore the crap out. Like the crash probably tore up her bike. And so yeah, she hates his guts right now. But then he opens his his hand to reveal the key, and she's just shocked at this point. She's shocked that there's the key. She looks at the guy and thinks, "You went through all that trouble just for that, really?" And like it it, it shocks her that he went through all that trouble for that. And then she has this expression, and I'm not really certain here what this, what this, what this expression details. There's a few different concepts behind it, uh, a few different theories. One is that she's like, eh, why not? The second is she thinks, you're an idiot. Like, you're an idiot. And here she, like, it was after this she began to warm up to him. And I'm kind of thinking that it was more like, you're an idiot. Like, doofus, you did all that for nothing. I mean, you did all that for that, for that key. And it transitions, it's interesting, as we begin to see them, they're out of the hospital and they're hanging out together. Both are on crutches, both have a broken leg. And here, he, he's making her laugh as he shows her his artistic, his, his artistic style with how that he's drawing her. And it's a very interesting thing, and like she's legit having fun. And it's a very interesting dynamic because originally she hated this guy's guts, but you know she began to warm up to him, and he begins to show off his, uh, uh, his art for her, the different things that she's done, and like she's having fun. And then we see this really, really cute thing here where she's also uh, she's got her bike back or another bike, but she's showing him how to ride a bike. He's never been on one before. And she's telling him how to do it, showing him what to do. And he takes off without her finishing and crashes. And we see, uh, again, the, the, the cute cartoon style where the character flinches upon the crash. And we see the parts just go, we see the, we see the motorcycle parts just go flying. Again, a cartoonish style, but yeah, it, yeah, it's definitely comical. 
And she has this expression here that says, yeah, this is going to take some, this is going to take some work. This is going to take some time. And then they're also at this concert, which is also very cool. And I think this right here is definitely more, more their speed too. And it shows them both at this metal concert. And we see, you see the guys here lifting up, lifting up the girls, but she's more, uh, she's more buff in terms of her physique. And the guy's also more scrawny here. So she lifts him up to catch the drumstick, which is very awesome. And like, he's celebrating. She's like, yeah, you did it. And again, it's very, very awesome. And then it sees them, them at the ballet, which is, which is also interesting. And it here, and it's also interesting because it shows, you know, she's not really into, into the ballet, but it's a very interesting thing as you like, as this transitions, you can see sort of a, you can begin to see the give and take. You can kind of see the give and take with a relate with, with, with the relationship began to transpire. Uh, this is something for him as well. And this shows that he has, you know, he's not just hardcore metal. He does have a more sensitive side for, for the ballet, which is cool. And, he does find a, a genuine interest in it. She's not into it. She's more bored with it. She's clearly, she's, she's totally asleep here, but she made the sacrifice and she came with him anyway <clears throat> because it would make him happy. And like, I'm sure that they still enjoy the evening too. And again, it's a very cute, very natural thing. And the scene transitions here to, and this is honestly one of my favorite this is one of my favorite parts of the animation. It shows them sitting on the bench during the sunset, and they're listening to Avantasia. And this is a very beautiful moment where it shows them sharing. Uh, show, it shows them sharing headphones together, and he is singing the he he's singing the male's vocal part to the story ain't over. And it also transitions to show her <clears throat> her also listening to her also with a headphone in them both sharing and it shows her list her singing the females part the story and over and it's a very beautiful very natural very sweet thing it shows them you know sharing that moment together listening to the same song together basically doing their own little duet and it becomes comical as you see this little boy playing in the sandbox playing by the sandbox uh, you know behind them here the music, you can't hear the music itself. Uh, it, it, it's just them singing. You know, they have headphones in. Nobody else can hear the music. But they're just singing to themselves here. And the boy is just, list, like, his eyes are kind of wide. Like, what in the world is going on? The mother comes over and grabs him. Like, like, come on, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. Let's let the crazy people be. And then it goes back to that, like, in that moment in their own little world where the music that you are hearing is basically the story of their life. And they're just having that moment, sharing that moment together. And then it shows other little things as well with them. Like it shows uh, him, uh, I guess, kind of a, a, a culinary thing with him showing her like possibly different table thing, like different table, different table etiquette. And she has no, she's, she, she's, you know, she's wondering about it. And then it shows him at the gym, and it also shows, like, she's, you know, she's lifting weights. And this guy is, like, the, like <laughs> dressed up as something from the a from the 80s. Like, this is, the, like, this guy is from an 80s uh, exercise album, which is comical. And then it shows uh, him and her playing chess. It shows him, like, like teaching her about chess and he's casually just reading as she's trying to make a move and she's legit like trying to think of a move to make and again it it's very cute it's very cute very sweet and then this is one of my again this is like my second this is also one of my most favorite moments of this animation the moment that you see them married and it's very sweet. I mean, like, she's got her motorcycle helmet there. That That's cool. And there's a legit happiness between them. And it's such, it's so beautiful. It's so sweet. And I absolutely love it. And, and, and it's also interesting because, you know, normally they both wear black. And so here he's wearing a white jacket instead of a black one. She's wearing, she's also wearing a, bl a white jacket over her wedding dress, which is also very, very unique. I love that little detail. And she's still wearing the biker gloves. That's cool. I love that. And then it transitions to show them sitting on the couch with their children. 
and their son and their daughter. And you can see, like, totally, like, the girl is exactly like her mother. The, the son is exactly like exactly like his father. And it's so cool. And there's an interesting dynamic here because here, the girl, she shares the enthusiasm of her dad. While the son shares at the at, in the beginning, he shared the non-enthusiastic pers personality of his mother, and that's kind of changed because you know they're all sitting here, they're a happy family. She's you know the mother, she, you know she's uh, Victoria. She's listening as the, as the dad is telling the story of how they met. You know she's listening, and like the like the daughter she like here she shows such she she shows such you know bright eyed interest in how their parents met and the son is like meh and it, like again it's an interesting thing because I think the girl you know or the woman here I think Victoria I think she warmed up and loosened up later on as well and the son he has this expression like mom do I really have to sit here and listen to this and <laughs> she like gives him a light smack around the back of the head and like yes you have to listen to this this is the story of our life our metal life listen to it boyo and again it shows other pictures from them right here it shows which is very cool it shows other pictures as well it shows uh this it shows the sun it shows the dad and the son it shows the daughter having an interest in leather obviously it shows the sun i'm assuming the sun right here it shows uh it shows victoria holding one of their ch one of their children whenever they whenever they were first born it shows of course the dad showing how to put eyeliner on and it shows like the sun apparently like learning how uh like it shows the sun trying to make 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 that symbol with his fingers like you know very young he's trying to make it and then you see here as well like the son the daughter together here on the left with the mother and then you see this other little picture of like the mother uh with uh this other biker chick as well and then like he closes the photo album and it's my metal family and it's like a very not it's a very beautiful little it's a very very beautiful little thing and i absolutely love this and Unfortunately, there are no credits at the end of this to highlight. There are no credits at the end of this to highlight, but I am going to highlight uh, the opening here with this little poodle. That might be one of the signatures of the of the of the animator. So I'm going to put that there to highlight. But again, I'm going to put the rest of the information below as well to check out. Uh, the link to um, the link to the video will be below as long with the uh, along with the original an animator as well. Um, but uh, I really want to say to the artist, to the an animator, thank you so much for putting all the work and effort and detail that you did into this. It's beautifully done. It's gorgeous. Thank you so much for putting all the work and effort into this that you did. It's beautiful. It's sweet. I love it. It's adorable. And it's a ver it has a happy ending. And I love that. It's very sweet. And I absolutely love it. And so thank you so much to to the animator for putting all the work and effort that you did into this. Thank you so much. This is absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. And um, this is absolutely gorgeous. It's cute. It's sweet. And um, so thank you so much. And again, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys again for joining me. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next video that I do. Take care.